Well, welcome back to Afternoon Express. Back off. Obviously, the gloves are off for now. Our chef outfits are on, and we're about to make something delicious in the kitchen, so stay tuned. We've obviously worked up an appetite, and I think it's a good time to get cooking. If you're looking for a great meat-free Monday dish, we've got just the answer for you. Corn is a mouth-watering addition to any meat-free meal, and it's packed full of the goodness your body needs to perform. So let's see how Sterling has chosen to use it today. If you want this recipe, you're going to have to SMS the keyword dinner to double three six five oh the cost of one rand fifty remembering that your free sms's don't apply sterling all right gentle okay. in the kitchen all right now we can take our so what i've done here is just chopped up some onions mm -hmm. okay so i'm just putting them on a on a high heat just so they can get a bit translucent you can oh. smell it will start to release oh, like quite a sweet sweet smell it's like every italian household smells like this every time you walk in so exactly okay, very familiar so smells after this, what we're going to do is just add all of these uh, spices and ingredients. Cool. Talk us through them. What are they? Okay, so this is uh, ground. Everything is ground here. Ground coriander. Mm -hmm. Okay, coriander seeds. Um, or any seeds. Nice, uh, yes. That and a seed onion. that's also got nice and fragrant. It's got that chili. very light smell. Of course, chili. Chili thrown in there, of course. Chili what are you making, by the way? Uh, Tapa. Okay, cool. Tapa. Sugar. Uh -huh, so paprika's gone in there. A little bit of sugar to bring in that sweetness. Yes, and then we're oh. going to zest, a bit of a zest of a lemon. What about our garlic? Yeah, we're going to get there, don't worry. No, I was about to say, if you ever leave out the garlic in the dish, you're not welcome in my kitchen. I'll put on the gloves back again, <laughs> and I'll, t I'll take you out of the kitchen. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to let all of this cook out. Delicious. The key is just to relax and let it all happen. Don't nice. stress too much in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. want to try and keep things as simple as possible. And he's combining all of these different ingredients into the pan now. And you can see that there's a nice mix. There's a bit of hot, there's a bit of sweet, there's a bit of salty, there's a bit of spicy. You know, so it's got a bit of everything in there. It smells already so fragrant. Yeah, so what you want to do with this now is just cook them out a bit. I like to put them in first. Some people would add the mints and then put yeah, them in with yeah. it. But I like to just put it on a warm heat like this just to release a bit of the flavor. Cool. And then this flavor will essentially go into the Nice. Into the mints. So then we're using our corn mints. Corn Obviously, mints. Meat free Monday. So we're trying to find alternatives to using meat itself. And it's a great product actually. It's soy free, meat free mints. And it's a really, really cool way to obviously incorporate this into your diet. Does it have the protein levels that you would need in any case? Look, you would need, I think, um, if you're exercising a lot quite frequently, then yeah. you would need to add a protein substitute or okay. a bit more protein because... Yeah. Or just have things. a really big portion. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Yeah, cool. that's Love what it. you could do. And the cool thing about it is that, you, I mean, you can cook it from frozen as well, so it's mm. quite convenient if you're in a rush, you want to get going. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can just pop that in. So what I'll do is just cook this down a bit, cool. release a bit of the flavor. And the magic of TV is, ta-da! It comes out looking something like this. And that's what it'll look like. Okay, so this is obviously the mince cooked down. It's got all the different flavors in there it's delicious 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 and then what happens okay so from here this pie would come out of the oven mm -hmm. okay so in here we've got four cups of flour cool. four cups of uh, semolina flour or nice. corn flour if you're from America mm -hmm. um, sour cream mm -hmm. um, bicarb of soda egg and cream spinach, creamed uh, corn. Cool. So Father, obviously, if you guys are wondering, like, wait, I didn't get all of that, don't worry. You SMS the keyword dinner, and you'll get all the details. Um, obviously, SMS that to 3365, you'll get all the details on your mobile device, so don't stress. Okay, so I'm going to grab it with my fingers here. I'm cool. going to grab these tomatoes, put them in. So I'm just going to leave a nice border around so it Let's looks see. lacquer. It's almost like you've got the basics of making a pizza you're making here. So you've kind of got the dough at the bottom, then you've got your tomato as well, which is obviously bringing in that nice, um, what do you call it, tartness, tanginess. Yes, exactly. Then you're going to pop that mince on pop top. Pop the mince on top, all inside like this, mix it around. There we go. I'll even use the spoon in just to flatten it up. Okay, all oh, that. Don't worry, fingers, that's okay, fingers, that's okay. Okay, then from here, just going to put the cream, sour yeah. cream over. Cool. Thank goodness, like thank goodness that you wash your hands after that session because otherwise we would have trouble here. Hey, I've so got a, well a one-year-old baby. I take sanitizer with me everywhere. So I just put <laughs> that stuff, stuff on everywhere I go. <laughs> right, then this on top. Okay, a little bit of cheese to melt over. You see, it is basically like a delicious pizza with a thicker base. Yum, yum. Okay, you stick that in the oven. Wait till it caramelizes about 10, 15 minutes on about 180 to 185. Uh -huh. And yeah. So it comes out looking something like that. Yes, exactly. <gasps> Ladies and gents, how amazing does this pie look? Let's just take a moment for this. This will serve a family of like 10, or if you're bulking and trying to carbo load, this is the best way to make sure that you get in all of those uh, protein bits on a meat-free Monday right here on Afternoon Express. Dude, well done. Thank you so much. Boxing to cooking, I think I can learn a lot from you. <laughs> Listen, honestly, add corn to your recipe repertoire and you should to be a cooking master. It's all the protein goodness without costing you the earth. So here's a quick recap in case you missed anything.